Hey, welcome back. Cindy Dole here with my buddy Eric Stromer, a special edition of Home Wizards as we're broadcasting from the International Builders Show. And in this final segment, we had to talk with this lovely woman that, of course, you know from Design to Sell and other shows that Eric knows has worked this, with. This and woman, Monica Peterson. <laughs> she is darling. One of, one of the finest designers She's I know. She's so fun. Monica yeah. Peterson. Hi, Hi. y'all. Yeah. Monica Peterson, y'all. Yeah. Oh, you're so cute and fun. <laughs> okay, let me tell you a couple more names of shows. Yes. Bang for your buck. Bang for your buck. I host the HGTV Dream Home. Yeah. And Eric Stromer was my partner in a design competition on HGTV Showdown. And did you win? No, but no, we had we a came, heck of a good but time. We came well, in second. That's yeah. all there were only matters. two of us. That's all. So now you know what <laughs> we should have won. You know what works in terms of value. So what are you seeing at the Builder Show? And and just in terms of this year, what should we be thinking of? Top five things of value. Well, top five. You know, I'm going to tell you the top five questions. How okay, about that? So if I can tell you like what people are asking me. So yeah. the shows I work on are about adding value to your home. Yeah. Design to sell was getting your house ready for the real estate market. Bang for your buck. I go in and I say, okay, this is a great you know great remodel, but you know you overspent for your neighborhood, or if you're going to stay less than five years, you're in trouble with this uh -huh. remodel you spent too much. So, you know, when I'm looking around and I'm, I'm talking to people, people talk about kitchens and baths. I mean, we all know that all the money in our home and we're looking for resale value, it really comes through our kitchens and our baths. So if we're looking at like details in those spaces that are going to add value, I can start with the bath and I'm going to say, you know, bring in a, a solid glass shower door. It's that half inch glass, at least a half inch, you know, three quarter inch glass, make it solid. A lot of glass opens up our bathroom spaces. And since a lot of us, you know, we can't sell our houses right now, we're staying in our house and we're going, let's make our bathroom work but we're in a small space, bring in the glass. It's a great right? point Solid because glass. if the door is too thin, it feels flimsy and cheap, and then it kind of devalues the look and feel. Totally. Bathroom, doesn't it? Spend yeah. money on the glass. And then, you know, all that fancy tile work, you know, we saw all these great mosaics and all this fun design stuff, you know, being introduced. You can skip it. Solid, you know, big tiles. Go for a clean look. You know, it can be travertine. We still like prayer. the three by six, don't we? The, we do like the three by six, yeah. but we don't need to put all those little detailed ribbons in yeah. there and all that fancy stuff. You know what? Keep it Can minimal. I just say, you can. the detailed ribbon is dead to me. <laughs> It's, I'm done it's with dead. it. I'm Over so, I'm, I'm so Yesterday, like that. last night, been that, there, done that. Goodbye. Exactly. exactly. Kiss it goodbye. Okay. Right. So, like, simple, simple, but spend your money on the things that are going to last and look good. Your fixtures, you don't want to cheap out on your bathroom fixtures. If you spend, you know, too little money on your fixtures, you're going to have a plumber back in there opening up that wall, fixing something. Spend money on good fixtures, solid glass, simple lines, clean look. What do you think, Eric? Well, you have to talk. I can a, see If it. it's a cheap fixture, water simply doesn't come out of it. Now, mm. does it? No. We want the expensive ones. Yeah, so they spend look and feel the action of them. They feel yeah, better. Yeah, and you, know, you want companies that have guarantees with their products. So, you know, look for, you know, spend money on your fixtures. I was hoping you were going to say spend money on shoes, hair, and nails. You know what? <laughs> that is for our next segment. When it's how, do we look, how come we look so fabulous at the Builder Show? We just show? want to look good in our master bathroom. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You know? Even kitchen, the kitchen, <laughs> cast iron. This is a great group. I, you guys are fun. I want to sit with you all day. Hey, and, well, speaking of cast iron, you get some good things at the Kohler booth. We do. It's Kohler. sexy. It is sexy. Kohler and cast iron, they're synonymous, right? So cast iron's been around forever, but all of a sudden everyone's talking about it like it's some new product. And I think what people are getting excited about is, you know, we're all about green. And cast iron is made of 93% recycled materials. It always has been. But now that we're taking notice of it, people are getting excited. Consumer Reports said it was the number one material for kitchen sinks. The high gloss finish on it, the enamel finish on cast iron, makes it easy to clean. And that keeps the bacteria out of our sinks. So cast iron is the go-to material for your kitchen sink. It's going to last forever. And those are mm. things like adding value. You don't want to replace an, a, an acrylic sink or a stainless steel sink that you scratched up. Right. Who would have thought that cast iron would be now considered green? This is fantastic news. <laughs> this is great information. <laughs> I didn't realize. This is what Monica Peterson Listen. brings in value-added entertainment. Am I right? <laughs> You're right. And, you know, we've got some hot, sexy colors. We call them our high fashion colors. Mm -hmm. Super contemporary colors for our cast iron sinks. And a great place to introduce those colors are on an island. Everyone Ooh, has the yeah. great room in the yeah. big kitchen. Yeah. You want to be safe, you know, in the kitchen area, do a white or a cream. But if you want to really punch it up and get, you know, bring in fashion, do it on the island. All right. Well, yeah. Monica, we have to say goodbye. Monica yes, Peterson, we love you. <laughs> Eric Stover, love you. Love Everybody, everyone. thanks for uh, joining Cindy, us. We love you, too. We so much fun here at the Builder Show. And so for now, we say goodbye. But remember, the key is under the mat. Bye-bye.